What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is the HTCU Ultra here for an unboxing and first look. Now this review unit has actually been sent by Clove Technology so a big shout out to them for sending this over. I'll be linking to them in the description below if you want to pick this up or any other unlocked handset. Now the U Ultra was announced earlier this year and it is HTC's latest flagship. So let's go ahead and have a look and see what we have here. This is the brilliant black that I've got. A nice clean box here with some shiny lines. Let's go ahead and open this right up. And there is the HTC U Ultra. So we'll pop this out. And we'll come back to this just in a second while we see what else we get in the box. Nice, so that is the SIM card ejector tool, which I can see there. You get a case, nice touch. So it's a, a clear case which has some plastic over it. Let's just take that off. We'll also leave that to the side. A cleaning cloth, hint, hint. Some stickers if you wanna send this over for a repair. Some paperwork. And underneath here you have a power brick. Uh, now this does support quick charge 3.0. There's your USB to USB type C connector. And we've also got some headphones. Now these are HTC Usonic earphones and uh, supposed to be very high quality. Uh, they connect by USB type C as well. That's another thing to bear in mind. They look very, very nice. And as well as that, you get some earbuds. So let's move all of this out of the way and let's get straight to the phone. So here it is. Let's get it outside of its plastic. Wow, okay, that is very, very shiny. And you can already see lots of dust particles on here already, which is probably the reason why they've included that cleaning cloth. Let's go ahead and power this up and I'll talk you around the device. So up front is a 5.7 inch Quad HD display. This is LCD5. Now what's interesting about the U Ultra is that there's an additional display up top. That's a secondary display and it's not necessarily original. <coughs> LG V20 and the secondary display is going to be used for things like notifications and shortcuts and things and you have a large 16 megapixel camera up front. You can see that the sensor does seem quite large and it does support ultra pixels so should be great for your selfies. There's an earpiece which also doubles up as one of the speakers. There's a fingerprint scanner at the bottom which is a touch scanner. It's not actually a physical button. There's going to be some capacitive buttons on either side once this finishes switching on. Now up top there is a SIM card tray which also has space for a micro SD card. Now there is already 64 gigabytes on here as standard but you can expand that which is definitely a nice touch. It looks like a secondary mic here. Now along the bottom and it's just switched on and at the bottom here is where you have a USB type C port a speaker, so this is your secondary speaker. You do have HTC boom sound, so you've got the one in the earpiece as well as uh, at the bottom. And then you have a mic. Now, one interesting thing here is there is no headphone jack. HTC have opted not to go for a headphone jack. On the left-hand side, there is nothing. And on the right-hand side, you have a volume rocker as well as your standby button. Standby button has a bit more of a texture and it's a bit more reachable as well because you'll probably be using that a little bit more. Now, around the back, which already has some fingerprints. Now you have the HTC logo, a very glossy back. This is a glass this time. HTC have traditionally gone for a full metal build, but this time we have this uh, very shiny and reflective glass, which does look cool, but I can see that it's gonna be attracting lots of dust, fingerprints and scratches, which is why they've included that case as well. Anyway so press something and then there is a 16 megapixel rear facing camera which has an f 1.8 aperture as well as optical image stabilization and you've got a dual led flash here as well now htc have struggled a little bit in the camera department but considering that the google pixel was built by htc and that actually has one of the best cameras of 2016 this should be pretty good now this has started up so let's just quickly go through the screens here let's skip the wi-fi skip skip and we are in. So you've got Android Nougat here, 7.0, but it does have HTC's Sense skin on top of here. 
and usually it's pretty good i'll let you know how i get on with this now what's also interesting is that we have the snapdragon 8 to 1 in here so it seems like any devices that are coming out earlier this year such as the lg g6 as well only have the snapdragon 8 to 1 which was kind of last year's processor but apparently that is because samsung have grabbed all of the snapdragon 835s for the s8 so that's what it currently seems like and some manufacturers such as Sony have delayed the release of their devices to get the Snapdragon 835 but HTC and LG and things have gone for this right away. So guys, that is the HTC U Ultra. First impressions are pretty positive generally. It definitely feels very premium, looks very premium, a little bit on the larger side. We do have those top and bottom bezels, which you can see here quite clearly. And looking at some of the new devices, such as the G6 and the S8, those bezels have been really minimized. So what do you guys think of the HTC U Ultra? Do you think HTC have done enough to survive this year? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. If you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. There's lots more unboxings, reviews, camera comparisons, lots more stuff coming up here. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.